The Rapid Mask 2 module is the latest version of the core luminosity mask engine in the TK Actions panel. Tony is continuously doing research and development and listening to user feedback to advance and evolve his tools. In this way, he designed the Rapid Mask 2 module to be the most complete luminosity mask tool available while also providing an easier and more intuitive user experience and adding powerful new masking functions. It integrates the best features of three previous modules into one, the intro module, the rapid mass module, and the layer mass module. In this segment, I'll give you a brief introduction to all that is new in the rapid mass 2. Before we start, I just want to point out that this is a manual for how to use the module to generate and apply luminosity mass, but it isn't a course in what luminosity mass are or how to use them. If you're new to luminosity mass, it would be helpful to also check out my luminosity mass concepts playlist on my YouTube channel and my complete guide to luminosity mass video course once you become more comfortable with the rapid mass 2 module. Also note that the rapid mass 2 module only works in Photoshop Creative Cloud. Its advanced features are not available in Photoshop CS6. Now let's do a quick preview of the key new features in the rapid mass 2 module. The new design is more intuitive, easier, and faster to use. Instead of grouping functions by color, the Rapid Mask 2 is partitioned into workflow sections Source, Mask, Modify, and Output. The flow of creating and using mass is from top to bottom, especially for people new to luminosity mass. Experienced users will be able to jump around the module a bit more as needed, but generally still work from the top down. In addition to the more intuitive layout, the module now tracks clicks by highlighting the previous button clicked. In this way, you can always see what the last thing you did was. The new plus and minus buttons allow you to add masks together or subtract them like a calculator. This is especially useful for making custom off-center mid-tone masks. I'll demonstrate how to add and subtract masks in a later chapter. Masks based on color range or component color channels have long been a feature of TK Actions panels. The Rapid Mask 2 module now adds user created color masks to the mix. This is a very flexible method of generating custom masks by changing the luminance of individual colors. In addition to providing a new way to create masks, it can also serve as a powerful tool for converting color images to black and white. We'll come back to this in a future chapter as well. The auto apply feature of the original rapid mass module has been significantly improved. A colored border makes it more obvious when it's turned on. It also has a two up split screen option so users can see the layer mask and the image at the same time to better evaluate how changes to the mask affect the image. So that's a quick look at the main new features. In the next chapter I'll take you through every button and feature of the rapid mass 2 module.